Alliance Paradigm has some great options out there in the market, and this is a really, really practical couple style layout that I really like. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, I'm here in Elkhart, Indiana. I'm actually at Alliance's facilities today where they are doing kind of an in-house open house event. This is an event where dealerships are able to come to the manufacturing facility, see everything that's new for 2024. You can see there's a bunch of RVs back over here. And the reason I mentioned this is because they don't have any pricing information listed. This is not a sales event to the public. It's not a public event. And so there's no sales pricing information here for me to go off of, unfortunately. But if I can find pricing information, I'll put it down below in the description of this video. So this is the Alliance Paradigm 340 RL. And this here, it's 37 feet, 3 inches, so well under 40 feet, 12,782 pounds dry with a 2,700 pound hitch weight, essentially and just a really great couple style floor plan layout. I love the size of the bathroom that it offers you. This space feels absolutely huge. Get some additional storage space in here as well. And a really practical floor plan. It kind of, it's this island kitchen style layout, but it's a little bit longer, a couple feet longer than those 34 and 35 foot long models we see with an island kitchen. Um, real quick, I do want to turn on the docking light so you can see that. So there's your docking light switch. And as you come to the front, you have your front cap with the LED light up top there. So a molded fiberglass one piece front cap looks really nice. I love the Alliance logo and the font. The text looks great. Paradigm, Kurt Rotaflex. This is a pin box up front with a rubber bushing in it. So when you brake and accelerate, it's gonna absorb some of that shock there. And then they're doing a drop frame down underneath here. So you have that drop frame that goes all the way back along here, giving you big storage access, big storage compartments up front here. And I really love just how clean and concise it is underneath here. Look at how nice that looks. Have your solar charge controller there. I believe there's a, about a 320 watt solar panel on the roof, something along those lines. Um, hydraulic fluids gonna be back behind there so they actually hide that, which I like and looks very nice. Battery disconnect switch was there as well. Open spot for batteries and open spot through here where you could install a generator if you wanted to get a generator installed. And we're gonna go to the non campsite first real quick. As we come back this way, you're gonna have a six point hydraulic auto leveling system, auto leveling controls here, 30 pound propane bottle behind here, and then down through here, an absolutely massive storage space. I mean, this is huge down through here. I mean, you could easily fit a full size bed in here, if not bigger, it is a massive space, aluminum framing, welds on both sides of the frame, climate controlled in here as well. And then you have your Nautilus water management system down through here. Very clean and concise water management system. And then I absolutely love this. You have your slide out switches outside. So I could actually sit right here from outside and control my slide outs and actually see what they're doing. I don't have to, even some systems where it allows you to do it from your phone and things like that. It's like, okay, well, what if I left my phone in the truck or whatever it may be? Like it's just right there and easy to use. I just think having a manual switch there just makes sense. And I really like that. As we come back down this way, you're going to have your black and gray tanks that will all drain right here. It looks like everything comes to this one spot here for all of your black and gray tanks. You're going to have a gas and electric water heater. I'm guessing that's going to be a 12 gallon gas electric water heater there. So you'll have that quick recovery where you can turn on the gas and electric heating components. Then down underneath here, you have a really impressive running gear setup here. I'm going to talk about this more when we get to the other side, but just showing you that real quick and then you have your spot to store a sewer hose underneath here, fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines will sit above the enclosed underbelly, above the insulation, and you have 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks. So everything you need to camp in colder climates on this paradigm. And it is definitely warranted and ready for full-time RVing. Have a 3000 pound towing hitch off the back. And then as we come back around to the campsite, have your ladder to get up onto the roof. Love that you have a ladder already installed and they're not going to like a Lippert ladder system where you have to buy the additional retractable ladder. So you still just have a ladder on their standard. Two awnings outside. So awning on your slide out and awning in, uh, over your entry door and storage. Outlet here. And then this is where this running gear that I was talking about or the performance running gear. See everything here that they have listed. And the only thing that's optional on here is the disc brakes but everything else is standard. And the biggest thing is they do like this two inch 
torsion tube that is welded to the I-beam frame. So that just gives it more strength and rigidity. And then you also have these V brackets. So I'm gonna get down underneath here now and show you. Um, so this is that two inch piece of the frame that's welded there that just gives you so much more support. And then the V brackets are just back behind here. You can't really see them that well with all the um, foam that they use to cover up any holes or anything like that. But those two things combined are something that I don't know that I've seen on any other fifth wheel really. Just gives it more strength and rigidity like I was talking about. And like when you're turning, and things along those lines and these you know axles and these connection points and stuff want to twist and bend and things like that it's just going to give it so much more reinforcement so something doesn't happen long term throughout the lifespan of owning your rv so i love that big access to your storage door through here as well slam latch baggage doors on those magnet latches to hold them up and then you have outdoor speakers here as well it's going to have the lippert solid step here and then you have the moride safety rail railing as you enter in plus it should be noted also these steps are pretty heavy but it is a strut assisted step so you can see it just kind of snaps up on its own there and you're not going to have to worry about supporting the weight of this step and it falling on you or anything along those lines and as we go inside it also has an asdell sidewall and i'm very curious your thoughts on what you think about this model so be ready to let me know down below in the comments what you think and what your thoughts are Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. And as we walk in, I'm just gonna give you a quick look around at everything first and then we'll go into details. I'll just give you a second to kind of soak it in and see what you think. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. So again, this is a 340 RL. It's about just a little over 37 feet long in total length. Great amount of floor space in here. You can see all the floor space that you have even with the island kitchen. And then we're gonna kind of start right from where you walked in. You have all of your controls right here as well. So as you can see, all your slide switches, awning switches, you're going to have multiple different ways where you can control that from both inside and outside the RV now. Nice looking coat closet right here when you walk in as well. Real tile backsplash here in this area, a good coffee bar area. And then just see how this is kind of set up there right in that middle portion there. Now, one of the first things I have to get to real quick is just the fact that this slide out is going to kind of block these steps but this is not a deep slide out. So I don't think it's gonna block those steps entirely. And it's very possible. I don't have enough power to this unit to move this slide in. I already tried, but it's very possible that you're going to be able to get up to that step without having to open that slide, or you may only have to open it just a little bit to get up that step. I wish there was enough power for me to move this slide so I could test that and I tried to, but I, we're not plugged into a true 50 amp plug. So there's just not enough power right now, unfortunately. Um, so as we go through this fifth wheel floor plan layout, again, this is like a standard island kitchen layout, but it's just stretched and made longer. So you have more space in here. I love that you have flooring in your slide out that matches the flooring with the rest of the fifth wheel. So it just looks really clean and seamless. Two chairs here and there will be two more chairs down underneath the bed. And then this table here is a legless table just mounted to the sidewall. So you can easily take this out if you wanted to and put something else here. You have huge windows on your campsite. I mean, they build these things to be about as big as they could aside from going all the way down to the floor, which they can't do that because then they couldn't mount the table there. But they also have wood framed windows. So it has more of a residential look, more of a well-finished look to it and wood valances above the windows as well. And these are all solid hardwood. And that is just something I haven't seen really in hardly any other fifth wheels where it's usually just like a little foam pad. So. If you like more of a finished touch with that wood look, Paradigm gonna be one of the only brands giving you something like that. LED lighting above your crown molding, LED lighting in your light fixture above the island. Just looks really nice. Two ACs in this area, they are not ducted together, so they're gonna be a drop down AC. They're very, very quiet, and then they're just going to dump air into these areas. 
and then you have a ducted AC up in the bedroom to duct air into the bathroom. You're going to have a kind of love seat set up here with two recliners, one on each side and a flip down armrest. So this will have cup holders in it and that will flip back up. So I like that you get the option to kind of have the love seat here across from the TV in addition to the sofa. You also get the recliners, so there'll be power recliners, and this is part of the Kensington collection from Lippert. You have a three cushion sofa back here. You still get tables on both sides of the sofa, and then you have storage down underneath here on both sides. So on both sides, those will flip up and down. And then you have the storage space up above here. These are tinted glass cabinet doors with some shelving between there. Soft closed cabinets on everything as well. Nice kind of hotel looking style lights or something along those lines, more of a residential looking light, looks nice. And then with your fireplace and TV setup, one of the most unique things that Paradigm does that I just haven't seen from anybody else either is the fact that underneath here, you, you have this hidden storage back behind the fireplace. Definitely had lots of people ask if this is a thing on other models. I have only seen this on Alliance products. I have not seen this on anything else. So not sure that anybody else out there is doing something like that. And that's very impressive. If you do have for sure information that another brand has done that, let us know down below in the comments. But I've seen just about everything. I've been filming dozens of RVs every day and I haven't seen anybody else doing that. You have outlets and USB ports plus a USB type C connection down there. So I like to see that. And I think that's going to be something that needs to be standard across all RVs as the iPhone 15 has released and now has that USB type C connection. So something that a lot of fifth wheels are going to have to consider. Let's give you a nice look around from this sofa here. I mean, just such a nice looking floor plan layout and a little unconventional to what you see for most fifth wheels where a lot of fifth wheels have the steps going up to the bedroom here whereas this one's doing it on this side of the wall there and just gives it a little bit of a different feel. 50 inch screen TV there, it does have storage behind the TV. These little black squares are actually speakers, so they're nicely hidden and kind of discreet there. Storage space back behind the TV, TV will swivel and then storage space unobstructed all the way through there. Paradigm I'm noticing in pretty much all their kitchens, they have it centered off here so it is symmetrical and I like that. That's giving you countertop space on both sides. Don't have to worry about grease hitting any side walls or anything like that. And it just has a nice clean symmetrical look. Storage on both sides of the microwave and up above. And you do have a vent fan up above this area in addition to that. We'll have a vent fan here too so you can vent out smells well while you're cooking drawer here and then they definitely want you to know all of their drawers are reinforced just this little thing right here just that little extra step allows this drawer to hold up to 90 pounds so very impressive and just a little extra step there to give you more strength to your cabinets storage here you have the insignia four burner stove and oven so really nice residential size oven in here about as big as it's going to get for an oven space then you'll have the same storage over there as well here through the island, you have rounded off corners on the island, LED light underneath the island as well, outlet here on the side. And that brings me back to this space where I got to show you have outlets where your cabinets are. So underneath the cabinets, you do have outlets there. Going to have three pull out drawers. These will all pull out like so. Those are huge drawers. And then storage underneath the sink that is all open there. You have a stainless steel one piece sink and a black faucet. And then a, next to this space, you have this Norcold residential resized refrigerator. What I really like about this refrigerator here is open this up and it has handles that are going to prevent this from opening while you go down the road. So something where they build that in, same thing here. They put a latch here as well, so that won't slide open. You can see a spot for ice in here and freezer storage. So this is going to be a 12 volt refrigerator and with the solar on the roof going to help keep your batteries charged so this is running. You can see some stuff about this refrigerator here if you want to pause the video and read that real quick. Also I want to show you real quick just a little bit of the story behind Alliance. Again if you want to pause and read this you can read that as well and read up a little bit more about Alliance. You don't always get to see stuff like this at dealers lots and things like that when you go to look at fifth wheels so give you an opportunity to read that there if you would like 
um, outlets or sorry USB ports and USB type C connection in here as well and then your storage spaces down through here you have a pull out drawer pull out cabinets or not pull out cabinets but cabinet doors <laughs> goodness and cabinets here as well and last thing in this area with your lights on the ceiling these lights sit pretty much flush with the ceiling so they have a really nice look there and like the style of light that they're using on that open space underneath your steps as you walk up this hallway this is a hundred inch or 101 inch wide body construction fifth wheel so you feel the width especially when you're walking up into this hallway the standard fifth wheel rvs are 96 inches wide this is 101 inches wide you're going to have a nice centered off toilet there it has a soft closed toilet seat and it's a wooden toilet seat so a better quality toilet seat there you have countertop here stainless steel sink a nice deep stainless steel sink backlit medicine cabinet open this up and you have your storage space ceiling height in here is great it feels like it's got to be at least like six seven or so Stand on my tiptoes, I'm 6'2", and my head did not touch the ceiling. Storage space underneath here, and nice deep storage back through there. Now look at this shower here. This shower is incredibly wide. I don't even know that I'll be able to get a good vantage point to really show how wide it is. You could easily fit like three grown adults shoulder to shoulder in there, no problem. Maybe even four if they're all rather skinny. And then you have the flip up wood bench on the end. As I step into the shower here, it is just a massive space. Ceiling height is great in here. It's about 6'3 to 6'4 to here. So you could be like 6'6, maybe 6'7 and fit in here. Adjustable height shower head and there's just so much room. It feels incredibly spacious in that space with how long this shower is. It is just a massive space. So I love that. You have a max air vent fan in here as well, so they did not cheap out on the vent fan in the bathroom. You get a nice max air vent fan in the bathroom. Sliding farm style door going here to the bathroom. Window here in this hallway, and then in this space, you get some additional wardrobe storage because this is all built into the slide. So they kind of extend the bedroom slide out a little bit to give you all this additional shelving in here. It's really impressive. So this is in the slide out. The slide out box for the bedroom starts right here and goes all the way to the other side of the bed. Where coming into this bedroom, you have a king size bed. You're going to have storage there, benches on each side of your drawers that pull out. So I love to see that. You'll have hidden storage up underneath here. Should have storage underneath the benches as well. Yep, you do. So storage underneath that space. And let's get this bench back in there. There you go. So you have a spot to sit on each side of this dresser. You also have a spot to put shoes underneath your drawers. Love that Alliance has all these stickers. They make it very easy to see all of the thoughtful things that they put into these units. King size bed. Again, they want to make sure you know it's a king size bed. And it is a Serta mattress, so a more premium mattress. There's a good number of people that may feel they don't need to upgrade this mattress which is great. And if you need some bedside shelving, look at that. Giving you some good shelves, can put some books there and whatever other stuff you may wanna have next to your bedside. Outlets here, USB and USB type C charging port, dimmer switch on your LED lights so you can dim the lights in here. And then you have your ducted AC in the ceiling. They also have storage underneath the bed. It'll be strut assisted so it will stay up on its own. You have your additional chairs down there for the dining table. And then you have essentially what is like a walk-in closet with these doors that come together in the middle. And if you want to do washer and dryer, it would be dryer on one side and washer on the other side. Those shelves would be removed, but you still get all of this other shelving that they built in here. Definitely feels like a very thoughtful design with how they designed the closet. You have some reinforcement here in the middle of this beam here so you don't have sag in your clothing rod there. And it's just a really well put together closet and if you leave this open it gives you a little bit more space to walk around the bed here as well so something also to keep in mind and again ceiling height in here is probably about six seven six eight or so i don't know the exact ceiling height but if i do find that um unit i will put it down below in the description and uh, keep in mind again 101 inch wide body construction so it just feels huge in here and this is only 37 and 37 feet and a few inches, so under 40 feet easily. And just a great practical floor plan layout. So I'm very curious what you think about this fifth wheel here, what you think about the floor plan design, what you think about the paradigm in general. 
and please let me know down below in the comments. But that is all I got for you. If there's any additional information that I can find that I wasn't able to touch on in the video, I will add it down below in the description of this video. And definitely want to hear your thoughts, so let me know what you think. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly unbound.